I've got for you the perfect 4334 custom tactics and in today's video these tactics play like a gem. They are so attacking and you'll get so many chances to score and I really enjoy these. So defensive style of balance as always. This gives you the most control in your defense. You don't want to go uh, constant pressure or anything like that because it will drag your team out. Obviously do that if you get down in the score line. With a 45, pretty standard throughout most of my custom tactics. Just helps you block out the balls uh, on the wide areas. Especially if you play with a player that likes to switch it a lot. Depth, uh, down to preference. I like 60 to 65 on this formation. I've been tinkering around with it. But for today, we'll go with 60. It does seem to do the job pretty good. Build up, play, balance, direct passing as always is just the best. Um chance creation on the game i mean if you don't play with this you're kind of playing yourself at a hindrance with on the attack i like to match the defense so 45 players in the box it's uh very up to you five to seven i would say is a sweet spot with most formations we've gone with six here and then as always corners and free kicks stay on one as i don't want to get countered from a set play moving on to the player instructions these are very attacking as you'll see the wingers, they both are on to cut inside, get in behind, and get into the box for cross. This is going to help us. Let's say we have the ball on the right side with Adama here. If Pedro Neto, we get into the box, he's going to get into the box. We're going to get that cut back at the back post. It's part of the reason that makes it so OP. The Most formations, they would probably have this on comeback on defense, but we're going to be a little bit adventurous with this and keep it on balance so they stay up the pitch. The striker. We just have them on stay central. You can get them on get them behind yourself if you like. But I usually just manually trigger the runs myself. Stay central in this formation is actually very key. Because you don't want them to go out wide. As it's already occupied by the wingers. The cam. We do have them on comeback on defense. And this is just so we can have a little bit more solidity back there. And defend with three in the midfield. Most formations will have you defending in a 4-4-2. But this one we're going to have lots of outlets out there. And just because the wingers are on balance does not mean they won't track back at all. For the center mids. So you're more attacking center mid. You're going to have him on balanced and cover center. And you're more defensive center mid. Which in my case is Frankie De Jong. I'm going to have him on stay back while attacking and cover center. Uh, if you struggle defensively, you can put both of these guys on stay back while attacking and cover center. But have it a go. Have some more players join the attack. It's going to overload your opponent. Give you lots of different passing options. For the fullbacks, the more defensive one or either side you pick that you like attacking more. I like attacking more with uh, Marcos Lorente, just has better dribbling and passing stats than Theo. So Theo's on stay back while attacking and key that he's on overlap. He's going to give us so much width as these guys will overtake the wingers. Marcos Lorente, I have him on balanced and overlap. So he's going to be joining the attack. This right side of my attack is going to be very, very uh, going forward because Bellingham's on balance. Uh, Laurent is on balance and Adam is not coming back. So we'll have lots of potential to overload on the right side. My goalkeeper, Manya, I keep him on balance. I don't change anything to him. As I believe that these tactics usually hinder me more than anything. But the meta right now seems to be super keeper comes for crosses. I just don't enjoy playing with it. So those are the tactics. Uh, I think you can kind of tell there. But this is the team I'm going to be playing with. You want to have some big strong meta players as always. Your Lohan Blancs, your Van Dyke's back here, your Mendes, your Cal Walkers are right back, your Neymars, your Bellinghams, stuff like that, your Vieiras. Those types of players are very effective on this game. Let's get into some gameplay and see what we can cook up with these tactics. All right, here we go. FC Derby. Let's see what he's pulling up with. Everson, Bobby Moore, Madison. Oh, I like it. He took the player of the month and he's got team of the group stage Mbappe. How did I not even notice that? That is insane. He must have packed him on tradable. Crazy pack love that is. All right. So, want to use the width in this formation. The cam's going to join the attacker. Most formations usually play like a 4-4-2. But with the amount of players we have here that will be overloading, it could be very interesting. There it is. Good movement on the side here. Back. Bellingham. Great. Great. Neymar's in through here. Finish that, finish that, there we go. Quick 1-0, great build up play there from the team. You can see there's gonna be lots of passing options, lots of different runs being made. Just gotta stay patient and the results will come here for us. Play them through, oh, the cut inside, the cut inside custom tactic there. That's why you wanna have that, making them make those diagonal runs in behind the defense. 
Oh, look at this. Everyone's going forward. Everybody's going forward. A little dink. No. And again. Nice. Adama, run the keeper. No, I should have shot. Definitely should have had a shot there. Lorente so up the pitch here, though. Could have dragged him back. That's the thing. You got to be careful with this formation, how you lose possession. Because you might get countered and not have many people back there. Neymar, edge of the box. Nice. Oh, come on. Should have done better there. As you see, we have four people back to defend, which should be enough most of the time. Gives the team enough time to track back as well. Use the wings. That was a bad pass by me forcing it there. Make sure your midfielders are very good for this formation, though, because you will need to defend well with one of them back there. This De Jong, you want someone with a little bit of pace so you can cover more ground. That De Jong is a perfect example. I know he's expired now. He's definitely one of the better SPCs that's been released so far. Adama, can we get around here? Nice. Very good. Oh, lucky. There we go. Down the right side here. Son, one touch football, boys. One touch football. Adama's going to be running in here. A little body feint. Nice. And the tap in. Beautiful. Beautiful work there. Working the byline beautifully. Lorente making a great run. The one, two, freeing him up. There we go. See? Lorente just gives me that width when... Uh, Adama goes inside. Oh, this guy's lost his head already. This guy's lost his head. He doesn't know how to deal with the overload on the right side. Gonna play it in here. Or not. How wide? Turn. Beautiful. Oh, give me the pen. Oh, he should have fell there. Oh, we skin him. We skin him. Come on, Neto. Inside. Beautiful. Near post finesse. Very nice. Very nice there. Nothing to do with the tactics really there. Just abusing the wings. Got to use the wings in this formation. That's how you're going to get a lot of chances. It's a great formation for cutbacks, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Come on. Inside. Ooh. Dead up there. Son. Edge of the box. Beautiful work here. Lots of different passing options. We're in. The finesse. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. As you can see... The formation is unbelievable going forward and defensively make sure to use your center mids cover the spaces and you'll be all right you don't have to have 11 players on comeback on defense for it to be effective boys it's a football game we got to attack look at our opponents he's lost his mind here neymar near post again very very good five nil i think i've proved my point here here we go there oh keep it a little bit lucky it's Try to use the formation here to his best. Lorente really is dragging out his players here. Play it wide. Play it slow. Take your time. Don't rush it. Oh, beautiful. Sun in behind here. Can we finish? He sent the keeper and a little tap in. Very good. This Sun card is actually unbelievable. I think he might be in my team for the rest of the year. Oh my god, we sent him. We sent the keeper. That was actually a disgusting little touch by Adama. 7-0. This guy's having a rough, rough day, man. I don't know why he's still here, but at least I got a lot of clips for the video. And there you have it. We absolutely destroyed the fella. I don't know why he stayed up to 7-0, but the tactics are amazing. Let me know in the comments section down below if you plan to use them yourselves. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like as it helps me out a lot. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.